What's happening everyone and welcome back to a brand new Ark Survival Ascended video and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can use cryopods in the game. Now these are official cryopods, this is not a mod, however I think it is only available for PC and Steam players. So it was announced today that the survival of the fittest PTR is live, the public PC beta branch Featuring the first look at Survival of the Fittest and the upcoming Cryopod update is now live. However, the official Cryopods are only available on the public test realm of Ark Survival Ascended on PC and Steam. So what you need to do first of all is access the public test realm in Ark Survival Ascended. You want to simply open your Steam library and right click on Ark Survival Ascended and then click Properties. You want to navigate to the betas tab on the menu on the left hand side that will have appeared. Then you want to select the proper beta branch, the public test realm, from the beta participation drop down. Doing this will cause your game to download an update, which will patch and update your game to the public test realm. You would also need to follow these steps if you choose to leave the public test realm though. You don't have to stay in it forever especially if it ends up messing up your game. Once you've done this and you head back into Ark Survival Ascended, Cryopods and Cryo Fridges will now be available at level 50 as unlockable engrams. Studio Wildcard have said that the Cryopod design is still under development, specifically regarding portability. However, they wanted to get the dino storage aspect into the public test realm. There's also some changes from how it worked in Ark Survival Evolved. When a Cryo Fridge is placed, it will take five minutes to activate. Cryopods can only be released within range of an activated cryo fridge, and the range is set to 3,500 currently. It doesn't say what. And in PvP only, cryopods cannot be released if there are enemies nearby, and that is also set to 3,500 currently as well, but it doesn't say 3,500 of what. Dinosaurs cannot be cryopodded if damaged within 60 seconds of you trying to cryopod them, and dinosaurs mating cooldown will now tick down correctly while they are inside of a cryopod. It's good to see that they've come into the game so early in December, it's a shame again it's only for Steam and PC, and I think some of the changes to cryopods are a little bit odd, but it is good to see that especially in single player you now have a way to carry your dinosaurs around the map without having to walk them or fly them absolutely everywhere and it's going to make transporting dinosaurs to obelisks to go to boss fights even easier. It does look like cryopods aren't actually available in official servers, only in the public test realm on PC and Steam. I don't think you can get official cryopods on Xbox or PlayStation 5, but since they have arrived officially in Ark Survival Ascended, I thought I would cover them in a video and let you know how to do it if you are on PC and Steam. But that is it for today's quick update video, so please do let me know down in the comments section below if you are going to go into the public test realm and try this out. And let me know what you think about Studio Wildcard adding cryopods only to the public test realm on PC and Steam. If you have enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, make sure to smash a like on it to show support for the game on the channel. And if you are new to the channel and you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all future releases. But other than that, we'll see you in the next video.